clear pre-conscious mind is the key to better performance. Because you're a leader, you can take on more stress. You can figure out more things. But where does it go? How does it affect us? When the pre-conscious mind is clear and less cluttered, your energy is up. You're so much more your better self when your pre-conscious mind is clear. And so the more we can clear out our pre-conscious mind and talk about these things in a safe, confidential environment, the better off we are. When I work with coaching leaders, these are the five hurdles that I see again and again. And one of them is anxiety. So many of us have struggled with anxiety attacks. So few people that would experience it ever get the help for it. When I work as a doctor, one of the very first things I have to do is focus on sleep. It is the consistency of our sleep that matters the most. But what happens if you try to go to bed, but your pre-conscious mind is flooded and you can't? If you're not well rested, you're not even close to your best. But when the pre-conscious mind is clear, a lot of that creativity can come up. A lot of those great ideas can come up. And so I really encourage you to see how this works on the flip side, on the positive side. These five hurdles, this number three is the one that hurts the most. Who among us would want to have better balance? Being able to get that workout in every day, being able to have dinner together as a family. But sometimes when we are worn out, when our pre-conscious mind is flooded, we're less than our best. And that's what happens when we're at home. We tend to be at our worst at home. So it becomes very important to be so mindful of our energy levels so that when we are at home, we're not always having that flooded pre-conscious mind that's undermining our relationships with the people we love the most. The fourth hurdle is misguided tension. Our emotional pain will manifest itself in physical symptoms. At some point in time, if we're not clearing out the pre-conscious mind, if we're not dealing with those private hurts, those feelings, those tensions, then it's going to manifest itself. It could be lots of things for lots of people, but our physical symptoms become our emotional thermometer. What we really need in this world somebody that we feel safe with that we can talk to having somebody in your life that you can truly bear your heart with is such a wonderful profound thing have you ever had a one-sided conversation where somebody was there focused solely on you solely focused on what you need if you do this you'll be amazed at what you can do and how well you can do it.